What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, somewhere in there it says Ford. Yeah, we're working on a duty. This particular vehicle is circa 2019 and has 11,000 miles on it. Um, and their complaint was that their running lights for their trailer uh, is only getting like two volts on there. Everything else works but the running lights for the trailer. So I want to show you guys. We got one there, one there. We got three right here. And of course, both of those work. On the corner, corner again, and then obviously the fronts. Now using this, I did verify that we have like about 2.3, 2.4 volts coming from that seven pin connector. Um, I have traced it all the way back pretty much to the Ford side of things. And I kind of want to show you uh, what to look for if you guys exhibit the same concern. All right, so now that we're underneath the dash on the driver's side, you can see that this module right here that's hanging, this is our trailer module. And uh, let me shut these lights off. And this is the component that is gonna be given our trailer all of this lighting commands, whether it be brake, turn signal, or what have you. So let me let me get a different different angle here. Alright. So I got a little better shot here. Um, so again, this module controls all the lighting functions for your 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 trailer. And right now I want to test the output of the running lights for the trailer coming out of this module. There's three connectors. There's a little tiny one, a middle-sized one, and a real big one. The real big one is, let's see if I can move around this data link connector. There we go. Right, right there, this brown one. The brown one is our uh, running lights. And let's see if I can focus in here for you. I can zoom in. Okay, see the voltage? So that is coming out of our running light circuit. You guys can see that. Should be 12 volts. So, uh, excuse me. So what, what we're gonna do right now is, is install a new trailer control module. And that's the first time I've had one made in Macedonia. Yeah, let's check it out here. This dealership wants 40 grand for an old five. Oh, All right, let's check it out. So here's the trailer module. That's the part number. Um, it also comes with a bracket. I'm not gonna use the bracket. I'm just gonna slide it off and uh, follow the prompts using the IDS scan tool. Okay, we're IDSing. I gotta update it. We're gonna go programmable module installation and we are going to click yes. And we're just going to wait and follow instructions here. So we're just wait, going to wait and follow instructions here. When it's ready. It just kicked me with this. Yes, I want to search the network to retrieve the proper calibration. Okay, it's doing something. It's attempting, attempting to copy data. Copying. Carefully. Come on. 
All right, I feel like it's about to do something. What's it about to do? Checking, doing an integrity check. Ooh, yes, switch it to the off position. All right, what's it say to do? Okay, install a new module, perfect. All right, I'm gonna try to, try to take this out for you guys here. A few quick connectors. Okay, they're all disconnected. And I'm just gonna go ahead and push this button here and slide the module right out of this little bracket. I'm gonna reverse the installation. Like that. I wish all modules were this easy to get to. Or this simple, rather. I mean, that's literally under 30 seconds there, bud. Think. Okay. Let's go back to the computer. Okay, we've installed the new module. Turn the key on. Hit the tick mark. And it's gonna do its thing. Configuring, programming, setting up for max performance. Oh no! Heck yeah, I want to retry. Hit yes. Sometimes this happens, I don't know why. Okay, actually, it kept doing it to me, so I'm gonna try to program it with the as built data that it came from with the factory. So let's, as built data successfully retrieved. Okay, so let's go back to programmable module installation and go to the TRM and pretty much redo it with the new module already installed. See if we can get it to go now. Okay, okay. Okay, we're off, we've already installed the module, ignition on, okay let's see if it goes now. Sometimes it can't inhale the data from the old module into the new module for some reason, again it's doing this, I don't know what's going on. Alright, so now I'm updating the TRM. There was a reprogram available for it, so we're going to make sure it's at the latest and greatest, and then try it again. Okay, it just prompted me for the as-built data. Let's see if it does it now. Sweet! Okay, great. We figured it out. Just a little remedy of uh, updating some software. Okay, now let's make sure our concern is resolved. All right, back at the TRM. I don't know if you guys can see that brown wire I'm going for. Okay, you guys remember what the reading was before, right? Okay, there's the reading with, can I, ooh, I can get it propped up in here. Okay, parking lights are off. Parking lights are on. We got 12 volts. We have, ooh, we have 12 volts at the TRM on our trailer running light circuit diagnosed as a bad TRM. All right, you guys, tell me what you think about this in the comment section below. If anybody's had to be underneath the dash of a really dirty Super Duty to replace this lovely TRM. All right, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, join the fam, get some stickers out to you, maybe a shirt, and we'll see you next Friday. See ya!